thing up, uh, Mr. Treasurer? That's it, sir. Okay, and then we're going to, uh, Mr. Secretary, do you have anything? No, sir. That's okay. Uh, Call your name, just yay or nay, and raise your hand. Let's do that. Um, Vivian Miller Cody. Present. Uh, Glenn Ritchie. Here. Ronnie Pierce. <coughs> uh, Lizzie Gordon. Here. Sandra Tooley. Willie Way. Willie Rayford. Here. Jamie McGinn. J.D. Rice. Present. George Burns. Jeremiah Lawton. Here. Gregory Moore. Nerma Day, Catherine Brent, no, no. Catherine Brent here, Angela Green here, James Parker here, <coughs> John Quarterman present, Consolina James present, Tina Valenti. Glenn Ritchie. Here. Gretchen Quarterman. Present. Clara Reed. Here. Lee Allen. Dexter Sharper. Joyce Evans. Excuse me. Demarcus Marshall. Ashley Polk. Leroy Butler, W.G. Walker, Deborah Tan, here. Now we're back to the top. Kevin, do you have any candidates uh, for any position you want to be here? Mr. President, I'm President, I will call. What was your name? These are committee people, man. You want to come in? Oh, you say committee people? Yes, yeah, oh, this is only the committee. Okay. Any candidates wish to be heard? Uh, yes, sir. Could I ask a question before the candidates come up? Yes, sir. Committee members, are they also elected officials? I'm just asking you for point of reference. The committee people are the ones that can vote during when we have. Uh, no, no, I asked you. I asked you, are the committee members also elected officials? Yeah, they were elected to those positions, yes. Yeah. Huh? They were elected to those positions, yes. The district, each district does three districts and then two super districts. Each one of those people that he called was elected to those positions. Like District 1, what, you, what, what position was Mr. Ray Blaine? What we're asking, as you show, as the poll just said, is does he have a committed? Uh, I know what you're saying. Now, yeah. You go far more going with this. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, uh, does the committee members also it's consist of elected officials? That was my question. You're in District One, so you're the elected to District One. To answer your question about Ashley Paul and yeah. any any other right. sit, uh, elected city officials, uh -huh. they're not needed. If they come, they're recognized, but 
reason I want to stop that because Deborah Kane comes under that category. Okay, that's official, something like that. Yeah, right? something that's official. Like that. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay. So that, that's what you're this is clarity. This is clarity. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Any candidate wish to be heard? Any candidate running for office wish to be heard? Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Dr. Marks is not here. He had nothing to do with the qualification committee report. Hi, my name is Glenn Ritchie. I'm the vice chair for qualifying. Uh, we've uh, done quite a bit of work in that area this month. Uh, we had a meeting with uh, Brooks Bivens, Kevin Bussey, and J.D. Rice, uh, just having all of the mayoral candidates uh, have uh, Democratic values in mind and meet up and discuss possible endorsement by the Lowndes County Democratic Party. Um, so that's one of the things that we arranged, myself, as well as uh, Chairman Andy, uh, and the candidates. And also, uh, we contact, we've got well, quite a few people that are interested in the city council at large. Uh, not so much as far as um, other city council seats, but uh, there's quite a few. Um, Kind of running into a similar issue where we have uh, you know, several people running for the same office. There's a potential that uh, the votes might be split. So I think it's just something that we need to be conscious of in that process. So um, this is one thing we're dealing with there. Um, also, uh, we've got um, at least two uh, potential candidates for the at-large position of contacted. Contact more as time permits. So uh, that's it for qualifying. Okay, thank you. Any questions for qualifying insurance? Yes, sir. What is the next election date you got for? What's the next election coming up? I don't have any idea on that. I don't know on that. November, I don't remember the exact date. Okay, November 6th. November 6th, all right. Membership? How long was on? I didn't think it was possible for the party as a whole to to uh, to, to select We're not. on doors. We're not to the county. You just said we We just what we what we did when we met with the three candidates. We were trying to talk to them, trying to make them understand that you know, three candidates are going to run from the Democratic side and two from the Republican side and one from the Republican side, for example. If we have three candidates running for mayor, uh, city council, or whatever, three people only wins a fight when it's a fight. Three people can't beat one. There's no way in God's green earth that three people can beat one person. The only time three people can beat one is when, when I come like it is, when it's a fight, fist fight. That's the only time that can happen. So. We're not, we're not telling anybody they can't run. We're not telling you who to vote for. You can vote who you want to. So when you go in that little room and they give you that card, you go in there and click it and say next, and you punch that little X, nobody knows what you did except that machine that you and God. So we're not telling you who to vote for. But we're trying to get our candidates. We're going to, we're going to, some, try, to get, try to turn, turn the city council and the mayor raised to the group. We need to try to have one candidate. That's right. Yes, sir. That's true. Uh, up to a point, because um, if on the first ballot, if, if a candidate does not get 50 percent, mm -hmm. well, it will go to a runoff between yeah. the top two. Yeah. So <clears throat> the, the whole point is, if as Democrats, we need to turn out at least 50 percent of the voters. Well, that's true. That, what you say, you just you being truthful about it, <coughs> you're being straight up with it. Ain't gonna happen. You know it, I know it, everybody know it. That's not going to happen. The amount of what faith in you, that is not going to happen. If we got three candidates running, ain't going to run that one of them three candidates going to be like 50%. Right. But if, if it happens, it right. happens. And then right. we have to go to it. Right? But, I don't, but I don't see that. Only if the Republican gets 50%. If he doesn't get 50%, yeah. then the next will run off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the top two. Yeah. So, I mean, mm -hmm. the last couple of elections, but, but you right about Nobody that. Nobody got fifty percent on any side. Yeah. I mean, it was horrible. Yeah. yeah. But, but me, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah
this year, I hope to be back with 150 plus. Happy to that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, Courtney, Ms. James, yeah. Oh, you have no reels on there? Oh, uh, no, it was pulled for a LA court. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. James? I'm sorry, excuse me, any questions? <laughs> yes. Hopefully the tickets will be available next meeting. Yes, in May. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Madison Any more questions for Ms. James? Now, I'm just going to say something about the role of Ms. James here. Ms. James said 150. 150 tickets. Is that 15 people selling 10 tickets? Isn't that kind of Yes. I see more than 15 people in here. That's yeah. why I said 150 no, plus. Everybody's not here. So we should be pushing these 250 or 350 uh, in, in ticket sales. The more we push in ticket sales, the better profit. We know we know we got to pay the men. We already know that. We already got that bill. And it probably go up if we have more people, but we still, the more we go past that 150, the more we know. Okay. Also, Matt Flotero, we got to pay for that, but we know that too. DJ, uh, we're not paying no, we're not paying, having no live music, and this is free. If it's free, we go up with open arms. <laughs> but if it's not free, we go on with, with somebody's phone uh, things, boom box, or uh, uh, they said record player. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we, the news was free last year. I'm pretty sure we can do it again. No, no, it's free. You don't got too easy. You got me. I'll take you. Okay. No, it's free. Because we need money. The little report we got there for $1,200. Yeah. That's no money because if we're going to try to do something in 2020, we need some money. And we don't have that. Anything else for the fundraiser? I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Grant, are we still planning to make an effort to, to try to convince uh, President oh, Carter? Thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> and, and who knows? Uh, we're going to, uh, and anyone is welcome to come actually, the 14th of this month. We're going to uh, Plains to the, what do you remember the name of the Baptist Church? Would you like to bring Maranatha. Uh, President Cox. Maranatha. Maranatha, exactly. Baptist Church where uh, President Carter will be teaching Sunday school. Um, yeah, oh you have? Oh great. Yeah, so that's the 14th. Yeah, that's a couple of weeks. April. April 14th. So if anyone would like to come, they're welcome to. And um, we will be inviting him to the fundraiser, but uh, that's just as so that's, does that answer your question? Not really, but that's acceptable. <laughs> yes, sir. Chairman, uh, uh, I sold about 25 tickets. You might want to give some thoughts to each member getting a certain amount of tickets that's going to sell. Uh, you don't remember off the top of your head how much money we made last year. We did real good off the top of your head. I don't have it. Okay. But anyway, I suggest that. How did we made last year? For what now? What was it? Do you everybody recall how much money profit we made last year? Okay, hold on. One second, please. Uh, while you're doing that, you might want to just talk to you. Okay. Each number. Can you get that to James? Roger. Can you get that to will. Yes, sir. Get that just right yes, sir. Anything no problem. Else? Since Ms. Uh, I just saw uh, Dr. Gear come in, and I'd like to thank people when, when they're here. Dr. Gere, what did she do? Yes, sir. I just want to thank you. I uh, let the people that we already had discussed about you, uh, what you did for us this past weekend and what you're doing for us. I just want to say it was from the body that you're here. We appreciate it and thank you very much for your job. Well done. And looking forward to the 13th. Uh, Okay. Question. Yes, sir. Is there somebody 
there any way we can contact any of them or all of them to see if they can show up? I mean, they might as well do, you know. Well, maybe on later, uh, maybe that's a question we can ask our uh, state president when she comes down and for our. Yeah, because I'm saying, who knows, maybe two of them or three of them will show up. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bill Roth will show up. He's nothing with nobody. And he might. That's a question we might get asked on the state president to come here. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Last year, the deposits was three thousand six hundred for the barbecue. Three thousand six hundred fifty-eight dollars. Okay. Uh, paid out for the meal was six was one thousand six hundred eleven dollars and ninety-eight cents. for the meal. Yep. So that left a balance, I guess, of two thousand. Like I said, two thousand dollars. We can do better. I like that. If we can get everybody in this room to be responsible for at least, at least ten tickets, at least ten tickets. That's three hundred tickets. Mr. 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 <coughs> Chairman, excuse me. Let me go back up here. I had. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. As I work. Um, to speak on what Mr. Chairman said, I was doing some doodling when um, uh, Mr. Pierce and I were sitting there waiting for um, Big Nick, and Mr. Chairman is correct. Uh, let me make a correction. Mr. Pierce called Colson Print, and I said 150 plus because I wanted to beat the 110 tickets. But Mr. Pierce, he called Colson Printing and he told them we need at least 200. And if we're trying to get a place of our own, I have a strong belief that we have been excellent, we have been doing such an excellent job starting off 2019. Why stop now? Because at the Azalea Festival, we showed up. We not only showed out, thanks to Mr. William Lamb and others, but we showed up and we showed out because we did get memberships out there and we also got donations. So if we can do that at Azalea Festival, why not go up and say 200 tickets? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we requested 200 tickets, but we're going to need more than 200 tickets. Exactly. Right yes, sir. Can there, would everybody, let me see a show of hands of people that will try their best to sell at least 10 tickets. Can get a show of hands? So we need about, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they'll be wrong by, Go ahead and advance and order 450 tickets. <laughs> I don't think because what's going to happen, the reason we're going to Coast and Print because everybody that gets a ticket, gets tickets, it will have numbers on them. You're responsible for those tickets. If you don't sell them, guess what? They come back to the person that gave them to you. When you turn your money in, if you got 10 tickets, 10 times 25 for yourself or 250. Don't need to turn it. So, I think if we all pitch in, you know we, you know our situation. We need money. $25 for dues is not going to run this organization. $25 is not going to take it. So we need everybody to pitch in. We're going to start in May. If we get tickets before then, we can call, we'll have the secretary email you and call out and tickets will be over at this on, on Gordon Street office. You can pick them up and start selling them. You don't have to wait till the last hour. Okay? Yes, sir. Somebody had a hand up? Yeah, just a question. Uh, how many uh, seats will Matt's Auditorium hold? Matt's Auditorium hold around 675 seats. 675. Because that was Juneteenth yeah. using this thing. Okay. All right. So we'll be in good shape. All right. So 400. I think Mr. Wright said it. That's the same question I was going to ask. Okay. Okay. So 
each adult is going to sell 10 tickets at two twenty-five dollars a piece. What about the children? Or are you 12? I, I, I didn't count them. Right. That's just a thing. That's just extra? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say you. That that's what they did last year. I was just, I didn't know what, what the plan was. What I'm asking is if they're under two or under three. Oh, I don't, I don't even know. Twelve. They do it. Yes. Twelve and under. Twelve. It was twelve, 12 and under? Okay. okay. Twelve and under? Okay. No problem. I'm with that. We're not counting you. Yeah, we're not counting you. We just counted it up. I was just wondering what yeah. the age was. Okay. Well, Mr. Chairman, are we putting separate children and adults together? You need separate children. Yeah, I do. Because you need 10 adults. I don't know how many kids came last year. Okay. I don't know how many children came last year. Not many. Okay. So about 15, about 10. I'm going to go to one of the bottoms. Yeah. Well, the speaker, the speaker is uh, Secretary of, uh, of the, uh, name is Nakima? The, right. Nakima Williams, the Chairman of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, if we can get President Carter to come down, I think we can announce that one, that, 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 that word to get out real quick. We have one more question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, sure, I sell as many tickets as possible and it doesn't cost much to print tickets. Just uh, please be careful <coughs> not to order more meals than we are actually selling tickets for. That's how we lost money one year. Okay. And I do have a question, it's sort of sales 101. Uh, if you try and sell something like uh, what do we get for it? What are we raising the money to do? Where is the money going to go? Our own building. Okay. What do we want? Our own building. We just went to a lot of trouble to get out of here. I'm just teasing. The money we're trying to raise is for the campaign and also to eventually get our own building. But as you know, as as some right now, we're not even we're thinking about. It, I guess because that fifty dollars cost for this place right here, you know. But we still need a place with our own. We can have an office so we can do some things. But right now, the generosity of our heart, Ms. Grant has been that she was up to sell up her office, one of her rooms for our office. But that's something we can be we, definitely looking at. It's so our own building, and, but also the fire campaign. We're going to have some meeting campaign signs. We need all kinds of meeting campaign candidates. We, yeah. we need money. And that's what it's for. That's, that's, that's what the bulk of the money is for, for yeah. the campaign. Thank you. Good point, John. Yes, ma'am. So what John was saying, I think specifically, if we're each going to sell 10 tickets, a lot of those people are going to be people who don't come here. How are we branding this event to people who don't come to the meetings? Are we just saying this is the way our bill? Because I don't know about those The money is not just to pay for you. The money is for to help our candidates, and we need to help our candidates. That's, that's what it's for. It's also, the money is also for, when we send people to Atlanta, I personally have a hard, I have a hard feeling about sending somebody to Atlanta or to Atlanta's county, and they have to go in their hip pocket and pay their way for we can't pay you, we can't pay anybody in this room to go to Atlanta and, and stay the whole time and expect them to pay out of their pockets. We can't we can't give them the whole we can't pay for the whole the whole bill, but we can give them something like gas or meal or something. We send people to Atlanta and say, okay, go over to Mile County. That's it. You don't have no money for gas, no money for no food, no money for nothing, the rooms or nothing. You just go to Atlanta. Come back faithfully, report what they did, and that's it. That's wrong. We don't have money, is one thing, but we can get there and have fundraisers to make money, then that's what we should be doing. So we want people to represent us. We sent candidates to Atlanta, they need to represent us. We did a fantastic job with PSU. That was, that, that was a good gesture. And one of the candidates running for mayor, he topped that. You know, that's the kind of stuff we need to be doing. 
In answer to your question, in general, it's, it's our annual fundraiser, but I hear exactly what you're saying, that we need to really create some excitement around it and call it something, you know, I don't know, off the top of my head right now, but, you know, November elections, campaigns, you know, elect Democrats, whatever it might be. But yeah, thank you for your point, and yeah. well taken. Do you have something I was just going to say, I hope that we can make maybe a bigger push for people joining the Democratic Party. Because there are a lot of people that came, that come every year to the barbecue mm -hmm. but are not members. Mm -hmm. you know? And I know we have, because I was helping work at it, we had a little table off to the side, That's but right. we really didn't you know, push it. Push it. Right. And I think a lot of people would join, That's especially right. with the upcoming election year. So. Mm -hmm. yes. Not only that, but also we need to think more about trying to come up some dates that we can actually go places and set up, set up a uh, registration table to try to register people. Like, like, like she said, at the Isaiah uh, Fest, well, one or two people that signed up, but guess what? Those two people were more what we had. The donations were more what we had. But a lot of people stopped and asked and asked some questions because they had to talk to Will because everybody come by. Will was on him. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying something to him. Yes, so, he was you know, we, we, we definitely need to, we just we just need to do more to try to try, try to sell the party. We just can't just think people are going to come to this meeting it's going to happen. We need to get out there in, in the community, set up places that we can, if we get two or three to sign up four or five people, that's more what we have. And once we start walking the streets with, with Councilman Cody next, next week, and it's going to be part of the pushback now, because she has some more tragedy in her family. But when we start walking the street, that'd be one of the things we walk to when we walk when we go to house to house. That's one of the things that we talk about. Is everybody in your house you ready to vote? Because I'm gonna be in the group and I can I can register people to vote. And I plan on registering people to vote. So that's what we got to do. If we're gonna kind of make the party grow, we all and it's just not the one stuff here that you elected. This, 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 the, the, the ball is round because of all of you. We need everybody trying to do something, not just one or two people. Everybody. Talk when you see somebody. Hey, are you are you registered voter? Are you, uh, if you're not, hey, get the name. If you can't register, call me. I'll come to you. Every time you see that black truck outside, that Bronco I drive, it's got a stack of registration forms in it. I keep them in my truck. When I change truck, I put them in my truck. So I always have one with them. The city's getting ready to have a brown bag week downtown at the courthouse. And you can also register people in that event also. Because people go there for lunch. That's where now? It's, it's this month. I don't, I don't forgot the date. But it'll be next week, I think. Yeah. It'll be a whole it's week. the first week of May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're having a the brown bag. Register people there yeah. because someone just set up and just tell me, you know, I got two or three tables we'll bring down any chairs. We'll sit out there and we'll just, just walk around and yep. eat with them. <coughs> you can do that. Miss Gibb, Dr. Gibb? I was thinking we could do a um, possibly just side, um, going off of what Rodney was saying about membership, the people that come to the barbecue, to get up uh, and they, you know, they be able to join. And we did a membership promotion. So since you bought a ticket, you may not have to pay the full 25 to, I'm saying that's something to think about, to join. If they already paid 25 for a ticket, maybe we have them only pay 10 or 15 if they join while they're at the barbecue. Just as an incentive, they feel like they're getting a discount because they're already there. I like that idea. And a lot of my can show me a whole year anyway. You know, it's like the plan of fitness. And dollars. I mean, don't ever show up. Because <laughs> 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 yeah. so they're already in the house. It's just something to think about. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. We need uh, a. We get with uh, co-raising. Let's talk about that. We're going to talk about it in our next meeting. How is that? We'll turn it over to Dr. Gibbs to give it to uh, Ms. Jenny. Mm -hmm. We'll bring it to our next meeting to work it all out. We'll talk about it. <coughs> that just sounds good to me. If I 
how they go for it, we can do that. Yes, sir. Same thing from Lyons County, 
In the runoff. Oh, the runoff. The, the, I have an answer for that. lived in 176 and you sat home and didn't vote, you helped to elect a super duper right ring rather than a moderate Republican. Yeah. So we have the opportunity to vote for someone who represents us <coughs> more like what we are. I'd pick a, a moderate Republican over a right winger. And How so, did the Democrat know that? Oh, by looking at the Looking at the material, we were bombarded with material from those candidates. Bombarded. It was clear I, I to tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got I got a lot of stuff from Pat. Mm -hmm. I, but I lived right there. I lived in Naylor. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I got every right before the white community came up. He has a big red sign now. Or if anything coming to me saying vote for me, I didn't get a strong Democrat. Right. Right. No, I have yeah, yeah, yeah. the last 40 years. Yeah. They sent me some. Pat, the other guy never sent me a thing. But Pat sent me stuff by the bucket. Yes, ma'am. Those representatives are up for election again next year. So we'll be sure next year that we have a communications plan in place and we're communicating all this information now. 176 was a hard lesson that we as Democrats don't ever want to repeat again. So we'll, we'll make sure that everybody knows about that election. You know what? Everybody else? I believe that what we need to do is to encourage people to be informed. Uh, people don't know what they don't know. 
and what we see going on now, there are people who say whatever they want to say, and then people believe it and will not fact check it, uh, Google it. We have to encourage people to be informed, to, to learn, to not take what someone says as gospel, but then reach out and see uh, if what they're saying is true. Uh, but we have to do this. We have to do this in our homes. We have to do this in our communities, in our churches. We have to encourage people to be more responsible, to know that they are getting the truth. Okay. I think what you just said is true. And that's what that goes back to what I just preached said a few weeks ago. These, these people in these district ones, two, and three that are being elected, when, when the election come up, we got to get out there and talk. And the same thing I just said a few minutes ago. We have to get out there and talk. If the newspaper not putting it out, they're not getting on the radio, or not getting on the big billboard sign, not getting the yard markers put up. Yeah, we have to get out in our community and sit and help set up our county. If we're not doing that, the county can't do it by itself. It's going to take a team. And this, you mentioned radio. Now, there are a number of, of radio stations that uh, are popular here among the, young, uh, the younger audience. Why don't we do something to reach out uh, to these stations to get our our uh, message out to be more forceful that way, more um, uh, oh. that's something I talk with our Republican proactive about. Mm -hmm. I talk with our Republican nation about that and see so she can get a handle on it. Yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I was just saying, think about so We have these people elected to some of these positions that you alluded to earlier. But a lot, I don't never see a lot of them to me. I mean, you know, you know just throwing it out for I'm going to start no confusion. Left, but mm -hmm. A lot of these people don't want to come if you gave them a towel and protection. For what? Well, I'm going to begin with the uh, secretary. I think it's three offices. You have a few of them. Okay. You only get three times to miss the uh -huh. unexcused. Okay. In that position, you're going to be able to feel for somebody. Okay. And I think we should have quite a few of them. I need to double check that and see who this uh, two. And then this two, we need to contact them on the third from the next side. And they will be dropped from that position. That's great. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Have, have we heard anybody express interest for the second congressional district? Officer Scott read on the polls last time. No difference. It was a Democratic opponent originally in the race, and the state party asked him to step aside and run for agricultural position. So Officer Scott ran on the polls. I haven't heard of anybody, but I, I, I said in a couple of meetings, I don't know what time to now. This is the year of, of, of female. I think there's a lot of females out there that I think we need to start running. None, none, against, none against me, and none against me. But I just think it's time for us to really find some strong females to run. And we get behind them. It's time because I think there was eight positions that nobody would have been supposed to oppose in the last election. The last election. So eight positions. They were going had eight seats that nobody up there doing that. And nobody challenged them. So they just put the name on the ballot and walk right over to them. So we do need to get some qualified candidates out here. Dr. Gill, I'm sure she's going to run again. We need to get behind her and support her. There's some other ladies out there. Uh, Nothing gets you guys. Guys can run too, but I'm telling you. This is the year of the females. Y'all know that. Females are, I mean, they're, they're, it's, a, it's a hot thing. Y'all get mad at me. I don't care. Most females are hot. Most females are hot. <laughs> anyway, I think they're doing it. I think they're going to do a super job. I'm not a super job. It is a hot thing. Yeah. Okay, just anything else? Just a clarification. Uh, 
congressional district two is Sanford Bishop. I don't really think we want to run anybody we'll against him. District eight is going off in Scottsdale. Whatever one he's in, don't be around folks. Yeah. In our district. He's in the in the eighth congressional district. Around folks. Part of Blount County. I don't have no comments on Sanford Bishop. And they talking about the meeting that came. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. It was asked earlier about it, uh, bylaws. We do have bylaws. We need to, we need to form a bylaws committee and work on our bylaws. So at this time, we are asking for volunteers to form a bylaws committee. Make sure we chair that. Why are we doing that? We're busy volunteers. Mm -hmm. so Could we nominate someone, sir? Uh, huh? May we nominate someone? Mm -hmm. No, I think. Oh, okay. I think yeah. Oh, I, I have a question. I want to do it, but I won't share it. Gretchen, you were not, you were going to do it? I, why, what, what in the bylaws are we changing? Are we going to discuss? That's what we need to discuss with the new bylaws committee. Is there some things that we want to Just update them. These bylaws are written in. We updated them last year to make the attendance requirements, so they were were reviewed last year by the committee. It's the I think instead of bylaws, we're talking platform, right? Well, no, we're talking about the actual bylaws. They need to be which changed. includes the platform. Yeah, there's several things that we need to add to okay. the bylaws, which I won't go into detail right now, but we need to make some changes. Bylaws number 2018 doesn't matter. Bylaws need to be checked anyway. Uh, that's the only thing the bylaws committee is going to do is to make improvements or add to or whatever. So I don't see a problem with uh, having the bylaws today. If I can get somebody to chair. Yes, I won't chair, but I'll sit on it. Ma'am? I won't chair it, but you can put me down on it. Okay, put Bob Gill down as a chair. Mr. Ray, raise your hand. Can we get some volunteers? Mr. Ray, raise your hand. I have a question on this. Mr. Ray, raise your hand. I have a question first. Now, this bylaw committee, will this be an ad hoc committee or this will be a standing committee? Ad hoc. Ad hoc committee. Ad hoc. Yeah. Just so that. It means it means took work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you volunteered? Thank you, Mr. Breaker, volunteer. This <laughs> uh, says volunteer. Uh, Lewis Gord, raise his hand. Green. <laughs> Lewis Gord, raise his green. Lewis Gord, you raise your hand. Tyler, Tyler Tucker. You got Mr. Reddick right here. That's a good man. Not enough to be here. That's fine. Thank you very much. That's Roman Red. Put a helmet by his hand. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got that taken care of. Correction, uh, Chairman. That was Minister Reddit. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Minister Reddit. Okay. I, I was born Kevin Reddit. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, at this time, I'm not high on uh, titles. At this time, I like to ask for all the ones that attended at work at the Zaya Fest to please stand. Uh, Great time, there's something on video, they'll have a the ball. <laughs> 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 